So check it out, it's Trevor James. We're going deep for noodles and deep for street food. Bright and early here in Long Tran outside of Chengdu. Neha. Oh, look at these fresh bouts. Oh, but we're gonna get some Dan Dan noodles. You can actually get these only out here in the rural area. Harder to find them in the city these days. Oh, Shanghai. Oh, you. I'm sitting in the middle. Okay. Dan Dan Mian? I found a lot of good noodles in China, but nothing compares to the classic Dan Dan Mian. In Sichuan, Dan Dan Mian and Zhajiang Mian are almost identical. So if you see either one, order up a bowl. Bottom layer of chili oil, sesame paste, peppercorn powder, vinegar, salt, soy, and green onions is magical. And when mixed through, it's heavenly. Check it out, my Oh, thank you. Whoa, look at this. That looks insane. Oh. This is Dan Dan Mian. All oh, that ground pork on top. There's fresh veg in there, and you've got to mix the noodles up because what's on the bottom is the best. Oh, look at that. Look at the chili oil on the bottom. This is just incredible. And this is a great way to start your day in Sichuan. Oh, it just smells fantastic. My mouth is watering right now. Oh, Shishini. Oh, Tai Hao. I got some bao to here. Oh, this is a perfect morning breakfast. Oh. Look at this. Look at this. Here we go. Mm. Oh, it just it's warm and soothing and spicy and fragrant. Oh, and you just Oh, I'm I'm speechless. That chili oil is so fragrant, so aromatic. There's a slight touch of Sichuan peppercorn powder, which is mixed throughout. Oh. Good morning, teacher. Good morning. Uh, good morning. Good morning. <laughs> goodbye. Uh, goodbye. <laughs> I'm not a teacher. I'm an eater. Oh, nigga Thai, how Oh, that was really good. I'm actually just speechless. Those, oh, the chili. Thank you. Bye bye. That was great. They want a photo. <laughs> and after breakfast, I made my way to a famous hole in the wall known locally as a fly restaurant. Really low hygiene standards, but famous, famous food. So a lot of people have recommended this place to me here. So we gotta try it out. Ni hao. Let's try it in Oh. Okay. Real hole in the wall here. Some ying tao ro. Ying Tao Ro. Oh, Liang Ban! Look at that! Oh, mix it up in the bowl! That's pure chili oil there. Oh, that is romantic. Oh, you. Jo Argen Ma. Jo Argen. How? This should be good. Two people. Two people. Not enough. Not enough. Do you have any other advice? Another Han Shao Bai. Oh, Han Shao Bai. Okay. Okay. Look at this. Oh, it's like a food sanctuary. Look at this. This is Sichuan supreme here. Jiaxianli. Look at this. This is absolutely crazy. I've got six dishes here of pure Sichuan authenticity. This is. Ying Tao Ro, which is pork, fatty pork, Ying Tao Ro with cherries, probably stewed in cherry broth. I'm actually not too sure. We're gonna have to try that one out. This here is Xian Xiao Bai, which is steamed fatty pork over top of Ya Tai, which is pickled mustard greens. Oh, and there's, look at these layers of fat on there. Oh. This over here is Liang Ban Bai Ro, which is cold tossed pork in a chili oil and spices. Same with this one over here, which is Liang Ban Zhe Argen. So these two are the same style. You see these all over Sichuan. You can get almost any dish, any ingredient, Liang Ban, tossed in chili oil and spices. So this is Sichuan fish root Zhe Argen, super unique flavor. And over here, these two dishes are steamed. We've got Fenjing. 
paigu, which is steamed spare ribs covered in rice flour, chopped with green chi green onions. And then over here, this is fenjang feichang, which is steamed intestines covered in that same rice flour, chilies. Oh, and that looks ins insane. First thing I really want to try is the ying tao roll, the cherry pork. Mmm. Oh. Instant pleasure. It's soft, fatty, oily, and you can taste the cherry. The cherry flavor is infused through there, slightly sweet. And as I kept trying dish by dish, the numbing spice began to build and build in my mouth. The cold Sichuan salads were insanely hot, and I was ready for a warm renewal of flavor with the steamed intestines. But what I got was something completely different and unpleasant. Oh, and that Sichuan peppercorn is building on me. My mouth is starting to get numb. We're gonna try the Fenjang Feichang. My mouth is really, that's burning. Oh. Now that. That is nasty. I don't even want to. Oh my. That tastes like shit. Oh god. Oh god. I need a drink. I don't like that. That's really bad with the Sichuan peppercorn and the Fenjang Feichang, the intestine. I need a drink. I need that. Oh yeah, I need a drink. Oh. And after that big feast, I went to one of Chengdu's hundreds of tea parks to digest and chill out like they do in Southwest China. One of the reasons why I love Southwest China is because after you're full, when you're waiting for your next meal, you can come enjoy some tea in a tea park. Xie xie ni. chili hen shu fu de. Nothing like it. You can sit here, digest, wait for the next meal. Oh yeah. Just took the subway. We're going hunting for more. So we made it way out to the rural part of Chengdu, and I came here specifically to this Chinese Muslim area to try some special beef and rabbit. Let's take a look. Oh. Yeah. Euro. Chili the Euro Han Hao Trima. Oh. We're gonna go down the way and get some more. Here we are. Another little joint. Ni hao. Ni hao. Can you do Jolie ma? Jolie, you do any of the Jolie? Oh, oh, how? Chinese food is good. Yiban, yiban. I will do some more. Yiban, yiban. What flavor? What flavor? What flavor? Our flavor is beef, 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 this is the Fenjang row. Oh, very beautiful. Very beautiful? Yes. Do you have any fried rice? Yes, I have fried rice. Is it your fried rice or your fried rice? Yes, they are fried rice. Oh, you can eat. You have a lot of fried rice? Yes. Do you have fried rice? Yes, I have fried rice. Yes, I have fried rice. Can you have three fried rice? Yes. I can do it. Okay. Oh yeah, and lajiao yao, right? Yeah. Do you do the lajiao yao? Yeah, I do. 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 Thank you. Awesome. Let's go eat. So we have some awesome Qingjian Chinese Muslim food here. All beef and mutton here. Oh yeah, look at this. This is like Qingjian style Chinese Muslim Fenjang Rou. It's with beef, kind of similar to what I had at lunch. Let's try that out. Mmm. Oh. Now, now that, that is the best Fenjang roll I've ever had. I've had a lot of Fenjang roll. But this one is just packed with flavor. It's really soft. It has a, it has, has a consistency, kind of like a porridge, 
It's that soft. Like a rice porridge, except it's packed with flavor. This one's a little smoky. Oh, there's like tons of raw garlic on there. See that? Oh, that is powerful. Fatty, soft. This is good. This is next level here. Mm. Mm. I'm gonna take one of these lamb kebabs and put it in to the Fuchi Fei pan here. That chili oil. And that is just gonna douse it in flavor. Oh. Oh. Legendary. Oh, the lamb is so soft. That Cuban flavor on there is powerful. Spicy. And then when you dip it in the chili oil, it's quite nutty as well. There's peanuts in there. Oh, it's just like, oh, this is worth the trip out of Chengdu here. Look at this. This is the secret here. Look at how thick, look at how thick that chili oil is. Look at that. And for my pre-dinner meal, I went back into the city to try some famous alleyway red braised eel noodles. So we're in a little neighborhood now, and I hear just up the corner here, there's a famous eel noodle joint. Let's go check it out. Here we are. Yeah. Now what's your, what's your yiwan shan yi man? Oh, jia shao, jia shao. You guys jia shao. Uh, but you you guys shan yi man should zui hao chi de dui ma. I'm gonna have to get a spot. Ke yi zuo zhi li ma? Yo ren ma? Mei yo ren. Okay. Oh, ni ni ao ni ao toy ma. Oh, gender ma. Okay. We're gonna get my my leather boots polished here. I, I could use that. Ah, yes, yeah. Wow. Oh, look at this. Yeah, look at those big chunks of eel. Lots of noodles and whole garlic cloves. Wow. <laughs> I'm just gonna have to taste that. Oh, that big chunk of eel there. Oh, that thick chili oil, chili broth. Mmm. Oh. oh, a bit of that eel to consolidate. Mmm. Oh yeah. Oh, the eel is so smooth. I gotta say. It's quite oily. You've got to be really hungry for these. Oh, look at that. I have a bias towards ganban dry noodles, and this has a, a thick, oily broth, which is uh, still pretty good. And for the final meal of the night, I make my way to try a Zigong City specialty frog pot. Hotter than hot pot, and with thousands of fresh chilies, not dried chilies, but fresh chilies. This was dangerously spicy. Wow, namada. <laughs> Big chunks of frog, look at that. That's a whole frog. This looks kind of similar to the one I had in Wuhan, but they give you the whole frog. I'm just gonna go right in for a frog here, give a quick feedback, and then update you guys about what I'm gonna be doing in the next couple months. The whole frog, I'm just gonna go for that tender meat bit there. Frog is always good, usually more tender than chicken. Oh, that is, that's an instant burn. Oh, my tongue is on fire. <laughs> this is burning. And I ordered moderately spicy. I really don't know what extremely spicy would be like, because this is, my mouth is in pain. So a quick update here, I really need your help. You can follow me on Instagram at The Food Ranger and leave me a comment for any of the following things. Sichuan Higher Institute of Cuisine, learning to cook Sichuan food for the next two and a half months. After that, we're going to Malaysia, me, Ting Ting, and Choo Choo for a week in January with Choo Choo. If you know, if you follow my channel for the last year or so, you know Choo Choo is probably the, one of the most famous co-hosts I've had. We're gonna go to KL for a week to eat street food and I need your personal recommendations where to go. After that, we're gonna go to India we're flying to Delhi, just Ting Ting and I. We're gonna be in Northern India for a month. I need your recommendations for where to go in Northern India to eat the best street food. We're gonna be in Delhi and then go to Calcutta and then we're gonna to go to two other locations. So one week for each location and then we're gonna fly down to Sri Lanka for another week 
and I need your recommendations for all of these. So follow me on Instagram at The Food Ranger. Leave me a comment or a direct message and I'll reply to you. And I would just love to have your recommendations. Thanks a lot, guys. Bye.